type of management does your jewelry store utilize? Now, in my years of the business, I've noticed about four styles of management that usually directly correlate to how happy the store owner is and that happiness, strangely enough, is directly tied to profit. Now, the first style of management is usually tied to stores under a million dollars in volume, and I call it day-to-day, -day. Uh, take it as it goes management. <laughs> By, by the owners, of course. It's usually owner operators, right? And not really doing much in terms of training staff or setting goals or looking at key metrics and systems and things like that. You know, it's 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 day to day management, and you know, many people can be very happy with this management style. And frankly, it can be nicely profitable if you keep your expenses and staff to a minimum. But if not handled with the proper, let's say, psychological temperament, <laughs> this style can quickly lead to high anxiety and stress and uh, gradual moving away from that initial passion that brought you into the business in the first place. Remember that passion, right? Now, next we have the store manager, okay? Usually this is a store doing perhaps over a million dollars in volume with a person who is the manager. Uh, much like the day-to-day -day manager, this, this uh, person has the title of manager with responsibilities added to their sales expectations. So uh, in a sense, they're a salesperson who's also in charge of scheduling, running meetings, promotions, hiring, and firing. But like the day-to-day -day manager, there's usually very little structure here as well. It's more of a reactionary position, providing leadership wherever possible. Now next we have the sales manager. This is a person who may or may not have a personal sales goal, but rather more responsible for the entire team and the store's goals, right? Uh, this is where I started off many, many years ago. The store was doing a solid $2 million in volume, and as a sales manager, I focused on key metrics, goals, daily, weekly, and monthly, and of course, annual goals, right? I focused on systems. I focused on workflow, job envelopes, repairs, things like that, uh, scheduling, uh, maximizing the efficiency of the whole sales process of the store. I focused on culture. I focused on our team getting along, teamwork, happy employees. And there was training. It was a structured, managed training program that we did every single week. Um, and then, of course, hiring and firing. Now, the sales manager should be focused, I think, on the success of the entire team. That's why I like sales managers that don't necessarily have a, a sales goal themselves or rather a minimum sales goal, right? We want to have a minimum sales goal for those folks. So this position can be, it really can be a leap of faith for a store owner. It really can. Uh, you know, how can I just have someone managing and not selling? Well, in my opinion, this just might be that key to your store breaking the glass ceiling because now this person's efforts and rewards are based entirely upon the entire store performance. Hmm, that kind of sounds like the store owner's situation as well, doesn't it? Now, this is the space of stress reduction and freedom giving the owner the freedom to do what they want to do in the business or, uh, you know, what they do best in the business. That may, be, that, mean, that, may, that may mean working on marketing or managing inventory. Some folks are real sticklers for that. Or, or golfing, okay? That's okay too. And then, uh, and then finally, there's the, the general manager. Now, this is usually a, an ownership, uh, ownership position where each aspect of the business reports to you, but you're not typically involved in the day-to-day -day of the business, but rather an overseer uh, of everything, either in the store, in an office in the store, or from an office off-site, okay? Now, perhaps this is your goal. It's entirely possible. It's just a matter of goal setting and execution. So, I just want to challenge you to take a little time to think about where you're headed, or rather, where you want to be. 
And then look at your store management style and ask yourself if you're willing, if you want to take that next step in the evolution of your jewelry store. Or listen, are you perfectly happy and profitable right where you are? That's fine too. So, uh, so next week we're going to chat a little bit about how to find that perfect manager. If you'd like to chat at all about this, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I am not a recruiter, and I don't do recruitment services. I'm not a headhunter. But listen, I may be able to help chat with you uh, through any situation or questions that you might have. We'll see you next week.